So business in a literal box. Yes, they do exist. Are you looking to start a business and don't know where to start? Do you enjoy parties, celebrations, events? Or you could also have running two businesses at the same time. Probably a side hustle on the weekends. Well, this video is worth checking out. So yeah, you won't believe that inside the box is actually a photo booth, right? So you wouldn't need a, a, a pickup truck or a van or an SUV, you know, it even fits in a small car. You can actually watch this video right here where I did set up my photo booth uh, going to an event. Now, mostly every weekend there's parties going on, there's events, celebrations, weddings, you know, big gatherings. There's always something going on. My name is I and I've been in a photography business for over 10 years and been into photo booth business almost four years now. Now this is a bonus if you're a DJ, a wedding vendor, florist, you know, anything that's involved in big events. You don't need to be a photographer or a videographer to uh, run a photo booth business, but as long as you know customer service, all your technical skills, that's gonna come through by experience. Now I just wanna let you know that this video is not sponsored, so everything that you see in the video is actually uh, out of my pocket. So everything is inside this box to start your events right away. Yeah, I'm just so happy. I just wanna share this with you and my thoughts on this product. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the business in the box concept. I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna show you behind the scenes and you decide for yourself, you know, if it's a good investment or not. So now this can be your only business or if you wanna add it on to your existing business. So either way works. Now when you buy the photo booth, you actually get the case, it's included. And on the front surface of the case, you'll see this little QR code. That's actually the uh, assembly video. So if you have an assistant that doesn't know or is first, it's your first time assembling this photo booth, all they have to do is take a picture of the QR code and that's gonna show them a video on how to assemble and disassemble it. And again, it only takes about probably a minute or a couple minutes to uh, set it up and tear it down. So inside the box, you do get the main unit, which is the photo booth head. And then here on each side, you do get the cables, which are actually long enough. And for the most part, I don't use any extension cables. Here's the base plate, which is the heaviest of all. And you'll notice there's a few other um, covers. Okay, so just to protect it during transport. And these two legs that simply goes on top of each other, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now they also provide you these tools and this is only used to install the screen. It's not something that you're gonna be using uh, all the time when you operate the booth. So you've got the Allen wrench, the little screws to install the screen or the iPad and the uh, little uh, pin, all right? This is to poke the switch for on and off. Now this heavy duty box comes with a retractable handle all right, and they do have handles as well on each side for easy transport. It does have a valve there to I believe the re release the pressure. So there's locks on each sides, a total of four. And you also get these two holes here, one at the top and at the bottom, so you can securely transport it. It's 1.63 meters high, which is five feet and 3.7 inches. And the good thing about setting this up is it only takes a minute or two. And that allows me more time to set up my backdrop, my lights, cable management, and all the other stuff. Now, one thing I like about this is its design. So it's very minimalist and futuristic. It's something that would grab someone else's attention, you know, when you set this up on an event, right? And people are gonna be curious, you know, what is this device here? Like what it, what it does, you know, what is this thing that has like different LEDs on it? For some clients or guests, it's the first time that you know they're gonna see it. So they're gonna be curious to find out that it's a photo booth. Now check my other videos if you wanna find out how I assemble this in minutes. I do have a playlist on my channel, so please check it out. Now when you buy this photo booth, it doesn't come with the iPad. So you definitely need to get one. I'm currently using an iPad Pro uh, 12 inches. They do support different types of sizes, but feel free to check out their website. I'm gonna put all the links below so you can uh, go to their site and check the compatibility list. I also did a full detailed review of this photo booth, which you can find links 
at the top of this video. So the photo booth itself, the iPad, what else do you need? So of course, backdrops and other accessories. Now I also have another video in my channel where I discuss all my favorite recommended accessories, checklists and resources, especially if you're owning a photo booth for the first time. Now under guest interface, there's a lot of customizations you can do, including the LED branding. So that's basically the lights here that you see on the edges of the photo booth. So in here, you'll find different LED animations and combinations to match the theme of the event. For me, I always use all the colors, whatever party I go to, because it looks cool and it grabs all the guests' attention. Another thing you can customize are the templates. And the best part is there are already templates that are ready to use. All you have to do is just change the name and the captions. Of course, you can use external editing software like Canva or Photoshop so you can get the most out of it and get more flexibility in your editing. So make sure you save them as PNG. Once you upload it on your browser, it will automatically upload that template onto your photo booth, which is pretty cool because it uses cloud technology. The templates are easy to design and they also give you some templates without you needing to be a design or Photoshop expert. Now, not only that, you can customize on the go via browser because everything is saved on the cloud. What makes this photo booth even worth it is it does all in one. All in one in the sense that it does photo, GIF, boomerang, video, and they can see the gallery. Now within each category, you can tweak the settings. That is how long the boomerang is gonna play or how long the video is gonna play. And one of the most handy feature of this booth is its hands-free mode. So it's a touchless photo booth. You can configure it under the settings. So all you do is wave your hand like this. I'll start the countdown. There you go, and guests can share the photos by using the QR code at the bottom, which is pretty cool. You can also configure different share settings. You can either just have the email or QR code only, or airdrop, or everything. For me, by default, I always have these all four options available. Now, part of the pro subscription is you do get face effects. So that's the filters, if you will. So you can even change the skin smoothening, the glow of the skin. There's ice size, face width, and face length. Okay, let's put it back to default. There you go. Another feature is the mask. You could turn it on or off. This is basically like Snapchat filters, right? So you can think of it as your digital props if you don't have props on site. Just like Instagram, you can also configure filters. So you can have like a black and white if you prefer, or just nothing i personally don't use it because clients tend to put filters on it anyway before they upload it on their social media now some other features includes post tips so these are basically prompts so that way it will guide the clients how to post another feature is green screen if you have a green screen background so you can replace the background with something else not only guests can share their photos this booth also prints like traditional photo booth now it does use air print, so it wirelessly prints to your device that are air print supported. So keep that in mind. My current subscription also allows me to do virtual booth, which are becoming more popular. I don't have it configured here, but it's something that you can also do on these photo booth. All right, so let's do another demo. Okay, you can either select original, so that means no filter. Right, and that's going to give you the uh, post tips. All right, it's going to count down. You can actually set the timer if you like longer or shorter. There you go. And then from here, you see there's email, text, airdrop, and QR code. So both email and text also helps you um, for your marketing promotions or deals. But of course, you want to make sure that you set disclaimers first before you send the mass emails, right? You can enable or disable that inside the settings of the booth. So since it is compact and easy to set up, so if there's even a small space, it's no problem. You don't need even tools to assemble this. For other events or maybe it's hot and your iPad may overheat, but inside this booth, 
There's actually a cooling fan which is behind the iPad and you can probably hear the motors running. It runs as soon as you plug in, it helps dissipate the heat. But you know what, in my three years of experience, I never had any overheating issues. One of the big advantage and what I like about this is the self-serve. Okay, so it can operate unattended. Like I don't have to be here, I don't have to have someone to operate the booth. Plus it gives the guest freedom to operate the booth. Maybe they're too shy to pose or maybe you need to do something else while the photo booth is running. Right, so that's the beauty of, of this booth. You know, a good example, if you're a DJ or maybe a wedding coordinator uh, or vendor, right? So, so this works unattended. But of course, you can hire someone to operate and engage with your guests, which is usually the best way to kind of have more business uh, with your booth. Me personally, since I'm a wedding photographer, so these booths operate during cocktail hours or reception while I'm taking photos of the bride and groom. And of course, you still wanted to keep an eye of uh, the space just to make sure it's uh, working as expected. Maybe you need to tilt the display back or clean the screen, probably adjust the backdrop. You know, what I like about this is you can also enable guided access on the iPad, so it prevents them from, from exiting the app. Right, so it locks it in. And last but not least is customer service and marketing materials. So if you're new to the photo booth industry, that's where the company provides some marketing materials. They also have their photo booth academy where you can learn how to operate a photo booth business, how to price, in different strategies, tutorials, etc. So the thing is you're not just buying the booth, which is a good thing, you're also getting great service. Okay, they, they have new features almost every month that they release that usually the these vendors, photo booth owners are excited about. And that's why I like their booth and I make these videos. And by the way, they also have a Facebook community group where you can ask questions and also ask for help. All right, so overall I rate this 4.5 out of 5. So I'm gonna leave that 0.5, you know, for their uh, other future improvements. There's always lots of things that uh, you know they, they can be improved with the device. While buying this booth doesn't skyrocket your business overnight, there's a lot of flexibility that you can do with this booth. There's a lot of features that you can enable or disable and offer to your clients so that way you can get different pricing structures. So is this really a business in a box? Well, technically, yes. Now, how about you? What have you seen that's also a business in a box? Let me know in the comments below. And also in this photo booth business, you have to learn first before you can earn. Now, all the links are below the description. If you wanna find out more information and detailed information about their pricing as it could change over time. Awesome, now thanks for staying with me until the end. Now, please, 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 if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. You don't have to subscribe to my video, just hit the like button and that's good enough for me. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. You can also follow me in my Instagram, which I'm gonna post right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.